day all you dreamers, keepers, and reptile enthusiasts. I'm Brian and welcome to Sky High Morphs. So it's been a little while since we did a little update video. So I'm going to do an update video today on our pie clutch that hatched out. They have done shed out. They've had quite a few meals. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. We're going to try to ID them as well. So we'll go here with our first one. I'll pull him out. Him or her. Haven't sexed him yet. I probed the sex. I do not pop hemipenes. I feel that popping hemipenes can be inaccurate. And vets usually uh, probe. So that's what I do. I probe. I'll let these guys get a little bit bigger before I probe them. But right here, I believe we have a fire... Leopard, 100% het pied. Or, hold on, let's see that belly there. Can you see the belly? Mm -hmm. So I think that might be yellow belly leopard, 100% het pied. Sorry about that misidentification. Guys, yeah, nice little look of him. Let's get his other side. Okay. All right, go ahead and slide him back. And then we'll go here. Next one. <clears throat> oh, come here, little one. All right. Right here, I'm going to say we just got a yellow belly, 100% het pied. If I can give you a good look at them pie markers. I said just yellow belly head 100% head pied. All these babies will be available on Morph Market coming up here soon. If you want to pick them up in person, we will be vending at the Midwest Exotic Animal Expo on the 18th. And that will be in Shelby County Fairground in Ohio. All right, that our yellow belly 100% het pied. Like I said, by the time we go to the show, I will have them all sexed. All right, then let's go here. All right. Oh, this one's in shed. Look at that. I know. I know. I'm going to pull you out while you're in shed. Poor, poor little baby. So here, it wasn't so deep in shed. I can't get it to uncurl a little bit. But here, I believe we have a yellow belly enchi. I can't get her to unwrap. Show you that belly pattern, those tracks, and says she's deep in shed, deep, deep in shed. But yellow belly enchi, 100% het pied. All right. Sorry, baby. All right. Go ahead. In there. All right, now we'll go here. 
see we got here now we're into our visual pies oh yeah you're going to run let's go ahead and put that back right there alright right here I believe us to have a pumpkin pie leopard or a pumpkin leopard pie which would be yellow belly leopard and pied if I can get a nice all white belly nice look at those uh, saddles Go ahead and get this side. I know. Come on, give me my hand. So once again, yellow belly, leopard, pied. All right. Three more to go, guys. All right, we'll save this one next. All right. This one, we got to get a nice shot of her face. Let's go ahead and stretch them out here. Now, this one, I believe it to be fire... Don't see no leopard in it. Hmm. That's a uh, really orange face for it. Peculiar head stamp, too. That don't look like a fire yellow belly head stamp. But I believe this to be fire. Um, like I said, I'm not seeing the extra stripes on the sides for the leopard. So fire. No enchi. So, Fire Pied, Poss Orange Dream, because that orange and that head stamp is really throwing me off on that, but there wasn't supposed to be Orange Dream in any of the mix, but the dad, the parents that produced the dad that sired this clutch, both of their parents had an Orange Dream on the sire and the dame's side. So... Th the male that produced this clutch could possibly have orange dream and with that orange coming in really makes me want to get him shed tested. I know for a fact he's fire and I know for a fact of course he's a pied. So anybody got any thoughts on that orange coming out on his face and that head stamp Please let me know. But if not, he'll just be going up as a fire pie possible OD. All right. He's a beautiful one. Actually, he might be a holdback. All right. Where did I do with the lid? I put it out. Yeah. I don't think this one did have a lid. Nope, this one didn't have a lid. All right. So that means you go up into this spot. You get a special spot. So he's probably going to be, or her, 
will probably be a hold back. And then we'll go here. And save my favorite for last. We'll go here. Okay. Looks like he's going into shed too or her. Got that pink on her belly. What? Come here. Let's stretch you out a little bit. All right. I believe this to be a yellow belly and sheep hide. Oh, sorry, buddy. Go ahead. Get a nice shot of that belly. So once again, I believe this to be yellow belly enchi. Has a nice little paradox right there. There's also another paradox. Let me find it. It's just one single little line. Oh, right there. Little black line there. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Once again... Yellow belly and she pied. Get the father tested out for orange dream. But I don't believe this has any orange dream in it. I do believe this might be a uh, leopard without, or yeah, leopard. Maybe. Definitely yellow belly and she. Look at how dirty those sides are. All right. Uh, that one's going to need a couple more mills or some bigger mills. It looks like. Yep, lid. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, once they all shed out for their second time, or actually be their third shed, then I'll sex them. Alright, and then, which probably is my favorite of the whole clutch, and it's definitely going to be a holdback. This one will not be available. Now this, I believe, and this one's also going into the shed. See that pink belly on it. Oh, sorry. You see that pink belly on her, or him. But this, I believe, to be fire yellow belly and she. One uh, pied, actually. I know you say it doesn't look like a pied, but let's see if we can't show it. Look at the tip of its tail. You got just that little bit of white on that tip of its tail. So it is definitely a pied. Fire yellow belly and cheat. I don't believe there's any Leo in here or leopard. But I love that high orange blushing that's coming up into the blacks. That orange is... She's going to be beautiful, or he... Hopefully it's a he. He will work really well for some of my other projects that I got going on. But once again, fire, yellow belly, and she pied. Really, really beautiful, and I love that tail pattern, how it starts to fade out. Almost makes me think it's hypo a little bit. 
Or another one that does that is the um, Ultramel fades out into those purples. No Ultramel. No Hypo. Just a really beautiful snake. Alright, and when we go to sex them, I'll do a video on how we sex sex our snakes here at uh, Sky High Morphs. So I've been actually getting quite a few questions if we pop hemipenes or how we sex them. And there is three good ways of sexing a ball python. You could pop the hemipenes, um, which if you don't know how to do it, you can injure the snake. If you're not good at doing it, you can get a false reading and that um you can also probe them which that's what we do that's what if you took it to a vet that's what they would do is probe it which is inserting a little probe into their hemipene pocket to find out if they're a male or female there it's a little bit ac more accurate if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing i wouldn't advise doing it without somebody there that knows what they're doing to help you because you can injure the snake the third way, which is probably the 100% guaranteed to be accurate way, is genetic testing. You can always have the sheds t sent out to RGI. Um, they do sex and multi-panel genetics, and that is one surefire way to know about the sex. But here at Sky High Morse, we probe. But with that, guys, I'm going to say good night or good morning, good evening, uh, whatever it is for you guys. Um, for me, it's evening, but remember, with hard work, determination, and positivity, your dreams, too, can become a reality. Until next time.